I remember at the Niles Canyon Railway in Sonoma, California, where a couple of volunteers have given people the chance to take a trip back in time on the route of the first transcontinental railroad. For over a year now, people have gotten a chance to see the sights and sounds of the historic steam and diesel trains going through the beautiful Niles Canyon. Uh, the Niles Canyon Railway is an operating railroad museum. It's staffed completely by volunteers. Uh, people come with all sorts of different backgrounds that work on the, the engines and on the railroad. The main thing that ties everybody together is the love of engines. For volunteer Rick Alexander, his dream is to expand the train to a third stop, which is being Pleasanton. Once we got the lease, all the rail was put down by volunteers. And we're still putting rail down. We're trying to get rail all the way into Pleasanton. Eventually, we'll go from Pleasanton to the Niles District of Fremont, which will be about a 12 and a half mile piece of railroad track. Right now, it's six and a half miles. With not as much steam engine trains as there are now, how much will it cost for new train tracks to go to Pleasanton? Uh, well, we just spent $100,000 last year for some rail, and that only takes us about three quarters of a mile. Uh, and after that, we have about another mile and a half to go. And, but the track, will, all the labor will probably be free because it'll be put in by volunteer labor of the organization. With over 30 plus hardworking volunteers, this railway keeps on moving and expanding. In Sonol, I'm Joseph Ellenhall, KR News.